should have stopped. It wasn't your fault. You should stop blaming yourself. All I wanted was the best for you and Lucy. So I just kept faking it. And it made him happy. But now it's what makes me happy, Vincent. Oh, I... ah! oh, 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 Ma, Ma, oh, oh, Ma, oh. Lucy, you're doing fine taking care of Dad. You don't need me screwing it up again. But I do. Please, Vincent. Dad still thinks Mum's alive, and he expects her home every day at six. He's just playing with you. <laughs> you're not there taking care of him. You don't know. He wanders off. He hears voices. I'm afraid he's going to do something stupid. What do you think? Bell of the ball, eh? Look, I'm not asking you to move back in. Just... Come and see Dad and help him understand that Mum's gone. Lucy, I'd love to help. But look what happened last time. Oh, that was an accident. You didn't forget to pick her up, did you? No, I didn't. She, she's not coming, Dad. Of course she's coming, I spoke to her this morning. Dad, please, if you just listen to Vincent, he, like me, will tell you that Mum is dead. She might just as well be, for all you two seem to care. It's okay, Dad. You remember, Mum spent time in that clinic trying to get away from us. You told me that she had a breakdown, stress of touring. I asked you if everything was okay, and you told me yes. Well, Mum asked me not to tell you. Lucy, my sister. She looks pretty. A little bit sad, though. Where is she? Gone. Far? Very. I'm only gone for a few days. I will be back. Not by chance falling for Vincent, are you? No, I'm not. Call him. Marcus, this is stupid. This is not worth it. Oh, I think he is. You can walk away right now. I'm not stopping you. But I don't think you will.